Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's Robin here and this is my channel, Oracle Rising. So it's story time today. I'm gonna to read you an article about personal space and how important it can be. Um, I wrote this article a few years ago after being subjected to my city's um, public transit system, which was a little bit overused, you know, it was just ridiculous. So um, let's see, I'm just gonna talk about this and I probably got some pretty good examples, so let me know uh, your example of when somebody abused your personal space and stepped into your bubble. And I think this is a hilarious article, so I wanted to share. So venturing into a public place is meant to be a fun experience. Running errands, meeting friends, going shopping, and the list of possibilities is endless. So an unfortunate downside to being with and around people is people, you know? Most citizens out and about are likely to be amiable and respectful. However, there are, of course, exceptions to be found. Experiences with potentially clueless and unaware folks also running errands and going shopping can go either way in the sense of being a good or bad experience. We can generally expect that there will be settings where we inadvertently bump each other shoulder to shoulder, overhear conversations, step on toes or otherwise be a pleasant nuisance to others and vice versa. That's all fine and dandy, anticipated side effect of attending public venues. So keeping that in mind, this reporter dares to ask the question, how close is too close? Besides providing some fun examples from my own personal life, I conducted a poll via social media in order to get a sense of what the majority of my friends view as too close. So. The limits were 3, 6, and 12 inches, meaning poll responders had to click on the distance they considered to be the absolute maximum closeness acceptable in a public setting with absolute strangers. Your bubble, right? So shockingly, there were those in my friends list who seemed perfectly okay with the 3-inch bubble perimeter. That's close. Again, I find this absolutely stunning. Way too close for me. Like, I just can't move. The, res the rest of the poll responders were pretty much split between six and 12 inches. For me, unless you're Ryan Gosling or similar, let's just keep that gap as wide as possible. And if you insist on coming any closer, I have two words for you, breath mint. <laughs> Having a literal plethora of bubble infraction incidents to highlight here in this article, I have chosen three of the most memorable. Okay, so having some smelly and wildly unattractive oaf pressed against me on the bus. <laughs> and he said, yes. He said, is this too close? <laughs> like, get off me. I actually said, look, if you're going to stand this close to me, I think you need to buy me a drink first. And then in an incredibly clueless matron attempted to wedge her shopping cart in my buttocks while we were in line at the grocery store. And I turned around and I said to her, I said, you know, it's just physics that you cannot go through me. <laughs> and she was like, you know, gave me that, you're a B-I-T-C-H face. And anyway, and then the unbelievably blatant dude reading my Facebook page along with me at the airport. And I was like, anyway, so, what I did was I typed out a, a Facebook status that said, I just want to give a shout out to the guy reading my Facebook page over my shoulder. Hey, buddy. And then he was like, you know, and then he was appalled at me. So anyway, hint, I can see you and you are annoying. So um, it's clearly only common sense that we should, should not be touching strangers in public, right? Um, there may actually be laws in place regarding this activity. Harassment, anyone? It's a super personal invasion to stretch over someone's shoulder to gape at their social media page, but I see this happening all the time, thanks to the glory of public transit. For those of us being infringed on by the free range rude, <laughs> as Hannibal Lecter would say, um, what are the options for managing such encounters? Well, for me, witty reporter has witty repartee has always been a favorite solution to the oaf at the bus stop i said i generally expect a minimum of one glass of wine from a man before allowing him to dry hump me he seemed to suddenly wake up from the fact that he had draped himself across my shoulders and lurched off away from me to the lady with the shopping cart she received my fiercest half turn with glare and my cattiest tone and then i said that line about physics um, and in response to the person sharing Facebook with me, and I told you guys about that, and he, um, he huffily turned away 
and he was upset, which is a complete dichotomy and ridiculous. When in public and interacting with other humans, we basically just need to be prepared to go with the flow and expect that not every person we meet will be as charming and affable as ourselves, right? So I'm sure we have all edged over the line of too close for comfort with strangers. So bearing that in mind, try to keep a sense of humor about, about you when you feel imposed upon. Different people also have different opinions on what is and isn't an acceptable distance to keep. What is the reason to one person, what is reasonable to one person may seem aberrantly inexcusable to another. If humor isn't your gig, try a polite entreaty to ease an awkward situation. There's absolutely nothing wrong with asking for your personal space to be respected. And for the most part, people are more than happy to oblige. So yeah, I think if you're close enough that I can smell you, um, you should probably back up a couple steps. And like, you know, because I'm an empath, like people really close to me, I start to feel really uncomfortable and skittish. So, um, but some situations you just can't help it, like the subway or, or buses sometimes but you know I had somebody fall asleep like on my shoulder on a bus one day and I was like you know I'm not your pillow get off you know it's like she had her head leaning on me and actually happened up in a Walmart line like somebody's leaning on me I'm like I don't even know you <laughs> you know so if you have a hilarious story about too close for comfort let me know down below in the comments guys and thanks once again for tuning into the channel take care bye